Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get a Minecraft server. So yeah, let's get right into this. Alright then guys, so um, you might, might be wondering, why should I get a server to start off with? Um, well, one good reason to get one, if I head on to MC Pro Hosting right here. You can see if I click get started now very quickly guys, um, the servers are actually cheaper than having a realm. So um, if I just wait for this to load, I'm going to have to reload this very quickly. Um, let's say, as you can see here, starting at one, um, um, 49 a month for the Minecraft Bedrock Edition right here. And um, f uh, so it's actually cheaper than getting a realm, um, as you can see here, and you could still have it working for all of your friends. Okay then guys, so um, in this video I'm going to show you two ways of getting a Minecraft server. One is through a server hosting platform like MC Pro Hosting. And uh, the other one is getting it through the um, actual Minecraft website. Um, but yeah, so if uh, first of all I'm going to show you the MC Pro Hosting. Uh, the different timestamps will be in the description below. Also if you um, scroll through the video here, you'll see the different uh, parts of the video labelled as you go through it. Uh, so you can choose what you want. Now, um, before you skip ahead to how to directly download it, this one is much easier to, um, getting it from a server um, hoster. However, it does cost money, whereas this one's free. And um, this one also, though, if you buy it from, if you get it from Minecraft directly, uh, it's really confusing, and you have to download it all yourself, and you have to get rid of storage space on your device. So, um, I, in my opinion, it's much easier, much uh, better to get one from MC Pro Hosting. Um, if you want to get a Minecraft, uh, any of these, so the um, link to get a, uh, the link to go to the MC Pro Hosting website will be the first link in the description. The second one will be to, um, to get it for the uh, Minecraft Bedrock Edition, and the third one will be for Minecraft Java Edition. But um, yeah, let's head right into how to get one from MC Pro Hosting. Okay then, so um, all you're going to want to do guys is click on the link in the description and it will bring you to this screen here once you press get started now. And once you've done that, you want to know, um, you have to know what version of Minecraft you're on. If you're on a Minecraft Bedrock Edition, you want to order the one that says Minecraft Pocket Edition right here. Um, don't worry, it's not just for Pocket Edition, it's for the entire of all Minecraft Bedrock platforms. And um, you can also get one for Java Edition. And obviously you can see the prices uh, starting at, so the cheapest package for uh, Java Edition is £7.99 a month. And uh, the cheapest package for Bedrock Edition is £1.99 a month. So now guys, I'm going to go through all of the different um, uh, different uh, things you can purchase from here. There's not just uh, the one plan you can get, you can get lots of different plans with lots of different um, requirements that you might need. So we're starting off here with the Phantom Plan. Now, um, you may see right here, it says uh, 256 megabytes of RAM right down here. And I'm going to explain that, what that means. So, it, um, RAM basically stands for Rapid, rapid Access Memory. And uh, each player in your Minecraft server will take about 100 uh, megabytes of RAM. So, um, while this package does say uh, up to 10 players can join, uh, the chances are, unless the players are all stood still doing nothing, um, if pe um, it will only be able to have, at the start of the game, about two players online at a time. Um, but towards the end of the game, if you have lots of auto farms and stuff, it will only be able to host about one player on at a time. Um, this is good if you want just a small thing with your um, to do with your friends. Um, but I would recommend if you want a slightly if you want a proper Minecraft survival world to do with your friends. Um, this is cheaper than a realm, guys. As you know, uh, as you can see here, I believe it costs like five pound ninety nine a month for a realm, or five dollars ninety nine a month for a realm. However, it's um, two dollars ninety nine for the Fox Plan, which uh, includes five hundred twelve megabytes of RAM. Enough to host about five players at the start of the game, as I said, and um, around two or three players near the end of the game when, when you all have uh, auto farms and stuff. So um, that's really good if you're hosting a Minecraft survival world. And next up is the Little Villager. This has one gigabyte of RAM. This would be really good um, if you have a really small server and you're just starting it off. Uh, remember, you can always upgrade between these guys. So. If you're making a Minecraft server, you can uh, upgrade it um, to the Llama plant in the future, for example. But um, the Little Villager, um, it's easily able to host 10 players uh, near the start of the game. 
and towards the end of the game it can very easily have five players online at any time. Um, next up is the baby zombie clan, as you can see on the screen right now. Um, for all of these, obviously, you will have been able to see the price. Um, up to 40 players um, slots can join, and uh, there's 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. Um, this one if you is good if you as well if you have a starting server um, or if you have a bigger Minecraft survival world, uh, for example, something like Hermitcraft uh, might use something like this. Um, next up, we have a Guardian plan. Um, so this one will cost uh, ten pound ninety nine a month, up to fifty players can join, and has two gigabytes of RAM. This one is also really good for a server if you're not quite going to go for the Llama plan. And then, obviously, last we have the Llama plan. This has unlimited players included in it. Um, on all of the other ones, if I click order, for example, on the baby zombie, um, you can see there's an option. I can turn on unlimited players for just eight um, for two extra dollars. Um, so if I head back now to uh, right down here, you can see I've just gone through all of these different ones. So you guys can choose whatever one, whatever one you want for you. I've just explained what all of these are good for. So now we're going to move on to the Minecraft Java edition ones. So we are going to start off with the Steve plan. Um, this is really all you're going to need if you want a small multiplayer survival to play with your friends. That they could join at any time. Um, as you can see, as one game of RAM, that will be really useful if you just want, uh, for example, five players on at any given time. Uh, obviously, the next up is the villager plan. Um, this is good if you're hosting, obviously, a slightly bigger one. So Hermitcraft is a Java edition server, I know. They probably use something like this. They might actually use uh, the uh, one of the higher up ones. But um, you really, if you're just hosting a survival world, you won't need anything more than the villager plan. Because up to about 20 players could very easily join near the start of the game. And at any given time near the end of the game, 10 players could be online. Uh, next up, we have uh, the witch plan right here. Um, once again, 4 gigabytes of RAM here. This is good if you have a starting server on Java Edition. Um, you just start off with the witch plan right here. And then, obviously, uh, if you if your server gets bigger, you could upgrade it to something, say, like a Hellbone plan or a Wither plan. Next up, we have the Enderman plan. Um, this is good if you want a um, reasonably big server. For example, you wanted a prison server, which um, that would be quite good for. You're probably not expecting any more than uh, 50 players to be on at a time. That would be really good for the Enderman plan. Next up, we have the Wither plan. Um, this is really useful if you um, have a Minecraft server, which is starting to grow. As I said, you can always upgrade to the Herobine plan um, if you want in the future with unlimited RAM and unlimited player slots. So this is really great if you want a full um, giant Java edition server with uh, an arcade server. All right then, guys. So um, I'm now going to show you how to edit your... Um, Alright then guys, so now I'm going to um, uh, show you um, all of the different options if you're ordering a server. So right here I'm just going to click on order the um, phantom one right here. Um, I'm not actually going to go through with this obviously, but um, right here you can see you can choose your billing cycle. For example, you can uh, just do an annual one, or you can do monthly, quarterly, semi-annual. This is really good for choosing. Um, you can also choose subdomain. This doesn't matter if you choose it now though guys, just start off with IP with port. And you can choose your subdomain later on. Uh, that um, works as well. Um, next up is the, obviously the location. Um, choose the location nearest to you for the least lag. Um, or at least delay on everything you do on the server. And um, you can also choose a server management pack. Um, you don't really need this. However, if you do have a bigger survival. Um, so not survival. If you have a bigger um, arcade server. that This would be quite useful for that. Um... I wouldn't uh, recommend though getting anything higher than the ultimate server management pack. You don't really need anything higher than that. Um, this basically just adds loads of quicker options and they'll get back to you faster um, with support. And then obviously, as I said, we have unlimited players. You can turn that on. Uh, it's $2. Um, and then up to unlimited players can join on your server. Right then guys, so um, once you've obviously ordered your server, um, you're going to want to head on to editing your server. So right here you can choose control panel. Now um, Multicraft for some reason doesn't work for me, so I'm going to head to the one control centre here and show you how to use this. So as you can see here I have the nameless network set up. 
And if I head on to here, you can see um, I have uh, the server address, which is here, the original one with all of the different numbers. However, we do have a subdomain currently active, and I'll show you guys how to activate one of them in just a second. So right here um, at the bottom, I have unlimited players turned on on the names network, and you can choose how many players can join. So right here, we ha currently have it set to 100, but let's say I wanted to set it to 50, then up to 50 people um, will be able to join. It will say out of 50 players are currently playing. So if I just click save allocations, you see in a second, allocations have been success uh, saved successfully. Now I'm going to show you how to make a backup of your world. So if you click on to backups right here, um, you'll be able to see, uh, you can create backups whenever you want. Um, this is really useful, for example, if your server files got deleted or you um, blew up something and you wanted to get it back, you can just uh, restore the backup. And um, to delete one, you, you just double tap on the delete button. To restore it, you just double tap on the restore button. Quite simple like that. You can also download the world into your own single player worlds if you wanted to fly around in creative mode or something, if it's a survival world. And um, if I head back to the dashboard now, I will show you how to get a subdomain. If I click on subdomain right here, you can see currently we have the subdomain namelessnetwork.mc.gg um, currently active. So if I click remove on this very quickly, guys, I will add it back in just a second. So um, you'll see I'm going to have .mc.gg. It could be whichever one of these you want. You just write in what you want. So I'm going to write in namelessnetwork. Uh, right there and you can see namelessnetwork.nc.gg register and if it's not currently being used uh, then the subdomain will be activated and uh, right here as you can see you should be able to join the um, join it like that um, next up guys I'm going to quickly show you just uh, how to start up your server and what all of these different options right here mean um, so as you can see, I can, if I want to start the server, it obviously it's quite simple. I can double tap on the start button right here and it'll be on nine. Now let's say some people have joined and left and left some RAM on the server because they joined and then um, obviously that they still have all the RAM left on the server. And you just want to get rid of that RAM, you press restart and that will just lower the RAM back down and um, it will kick any players, that are, uh, it will um, take off any players that are currently online. Um, obviously, you can also stop the server. For example, if you uh, want to just make some changes to the server, for example, you wanted to click change the server type, you can choose different uh, plugins right here. For example, I could choose Nucket, I could choose Pocket Mine, and or I could choose uh, just vanilla Minecraft, which is what we currently have installed on uh, the Mine, uh, the Nameless Network. You can see right here if I hit, head back to dashboard. Um, or if you want to, uh, anything like that, you know, if you want to do that, um, I would recommend stopping your server first. Alright then guys, so next up I'm going to show you how to change the version your server is on. Um, right, it's quite simple, you're going to uh, look at here, it says server type, if I, click, uh, if I uh, press on click to change, you can see right here it comes up with all of the different options I have. Um, now obviously if you're on... Uh, Java edition, there's loads more plugins for that. So I could install uh, Nucket, I could install Pocketmine, or I can, I can install Minecraft Bedrock. Now if you want to update this, um, obviously you, um, your current version could be down at 1.12 for example, and um, you want to join your server, but uh, you've updated it and you haven't updated your server. Then you just click on it and then you press install down the bottom here. I'm going to press cancel in a second, uh, just delete the Bedrock server right here. Um, don't, if you wanted to completely reset the world, you delete everything, obviously. So, um, right here, I'm just going to click, um, I didn't mean to do that, sorry guys. I'll head back. Um, as you can see, the server is still up right there. And everything like that. And, um, next guys, I'm going to show you how to, um, make OP yourself on your server. Right then guys, to OP yourself, you're going to click onto console. And once you're on console, um, you don't actually need to write any um, slash commands. Um, all you need to do is be on the server. So you can open this up on a, as a slideable app, for example. And all you need to do is um, write in um, the command you want. You don't, As I said, you don't need to write in slash. For example, if I write in slash op, you see it won't um, understand it. If I, if I write in op and then obviously their name, that would work. And um, you can also enter the chat here, guys, just by um, double tapping uh, on the chat button. 
as you can see here i've now selected uh, the chat and i can just talk to the people on the server for example if i want to say the server will be set soon and um, just warn everyone um, about that then that's what i could do and um, if I head now, guys, I'm going to show you how to edit some things like, for example, would you like to set up a whitelist on your server? So I'm going to click um, edit file right here. You can choose a custom world seed. You can do the difficulty, whether it's online, uh, the whitelist and the read distance, as well as the world name. Um, if you change the world name, though, that will change um, what the world is. That's why the names network still has the um, world name bedrock level. Um, so obviously as you, you can change all of these to whatever you want uh the way i'll show you how to set up the whitelist uh now okay then guys so if you want to set up a whitelist obviously you'll set this to true first and click save changes then you head to your config um not configuration files we're already on that guys you're going to head to if i click right here i can click on uh console and i can write in uh for example, whitelist, and then add, and then the player's name, and that will allow them to join the server. And if you want to stop a player from being able to play on it, you can press whitelist remove, and that will remove the player um, from being able to play on the server. And that's basically all you need to know for this, guys, um, on how to set up your server. And um, yeah, that was pretty much it for this video. I'm a bit confused on actually how to download these. Um, it is quite confusing. You have to do lots of unzipping. But um, yeah, the links for them will be in the description. And uh, if you can find a tutorial somewhere, um, I believe there is a wiki article here on how to do that for the Java edition. Um, there's not one, though, for the uh, Bedrock edition one. But um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for uh, this video. Um, if you did enjoy, then please do like and subscribe. Um, obviously, if you want to order a server, click on the first link in the description to order an MC Pro hosting. Second, for a Minecraft Bedrock edition um, uh, from Minecraft. And third um, link for the Minecraft Java edition server. And um, yeah, so bye.